Welcome to the International Christian Women's Council for February 2023. I do not own the rights to this music. Today's topic is the victory of God's people comes with obedience. The walls really did fall flat. And it's coming out of Joshua chapter 6, verses 1 through 6, and then verses 16 through 20. And this is the King James Version. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thy hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall come past the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall come past the city seven times, and the priest shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord. Verse 16. And it came to pass at the seventh time when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. Verse 20. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Conviction in Action Many years ago, as freshmen in college, my girlfriend and I followed our Sunday school teacher, a freshman in law school on the same campus, in a Jericho march through the halls of the law school. Students were engaged in a sit-in protesting the law school's threat to cut seats the next year. Though walking inconspicuously after four Five times around, we begin to appear rather foolish. Our conviction and maybe a little youthful exuberance prompted us to continue. Years later, despite stiff competition for each precious seat, I walked the same halls of the law school, this time as a law student myself. I contend my seat was secured by that simple act of obedience, a display of godly confidence. We were willing to act in that time of crisis because of godly confidence, which had been cultivated over time. Like a lawyer before a jury, our Sunday school teacher presented as evidence the truth of the word of God, line upon line, Sunday after Sunday persuaded that God's truth was reliable. We developed a deep conviction which matured into godly confidence. Godly confidence had to be cultivated long before a crisis arose. Many of us have experienced a crisis of confidence as our conviction has been sorely tested and our confidence tried during these difficult years of COVID. But it is the strength of the conviction that will both, number one, withstand a crisis of confidence, and number two, produce confidence to act, even in the face of contradiction and uncertainty. 
action provoked by godly confidence. God promised Joshua to defeat the fortified city of Jericho by the unconventional battle strategy of encircling it seven days. Joshua sent two spies to search out the land who encountered a harlot named Rahab, persuaded by reports of God's many exploits. She was convinced of his almighty power. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I know that the Lord has given you the land and that your terror is fallen upon us. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt and what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites, whom ye utterly destroyed. As soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. And that's Joshua chapter 2, verses 9 and 11. That is the end of our lesson today. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.